Hi guys, Mrs. Olbreeze here. Today is the first day of our reset. I'm not calling it a shutdown, I'm calling it a reset. And today is uh, the first sketchbook assignment. Um, okay, FYI, this is like the fifth time I try to record. This is a lot harder than it seems, kiddos. Uh, all right, so my husband, Bretto, Mr. Olbreeze, is in the back. He's painting a wall. So far, we're being productive. Um, He'll probably be coming back and forth with his paintbrushes and Nova. So if you hear that kind of stuff in the background, that's why. All right, so today, March 18th, we are drawing our favorite food. I'm really bad at trying to figure out the angles of the camera, so I'm probably going to hold up my sketchbook and draw. I'm going to do a few things. I'm going to do pencil, and then I have these really fancy markers I've never used before. They are from Sam's Club, so I guess it's a new day, a new experiment for me too. Sorry, I got distracted because I hear my husband. He's listening to rap music. Hopefully, it's appropriate. Hello, Kobe. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna do a quick little drawing tutorial of how to draw an avocado. My favorite food is actually salad, but no one really likes salad. So, an avocados are fun to draw and they're not too crazy in depth. So, okay, here we go. First though, I am going to use my fancy markers. Oh, I like this color, blue. And today is day, ooh. All right, oh, sorry, honey. Well, no, this is fine. I like it this way. All right, so day uno. Mm. Oh, so it's like a brush stroke and it also has like a tip. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Hmm. I want to use colored pencil. Yeah, so if you want to use a regular, regular pencil, you can. Or you can use pencils. Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of that. Make it a little fancy. So I'm going to show you guys when I get to see you guys again. Hopefully soon. You guys can all look at it. Okay, day one. Here we go. Avocado. Um, FYI, I use Pinterest as my inspiration or resource as what to draw. Uh, for today. So, okay, here we go. Starting off, avocado. I like to do the whole outside of an avocado first. And it's kind of like a, it's a U closed in. Going back to our basic letters and how to draw. And then you do a very organic like circle. So that's uh, a little too much, a little too much organic. So I'm going to erase that part. Okay, well, there we go. Here we go. I'm also going to now use a parallel line on the inside to create the skin of the avocado. I'm just using also a basic 2B pencil that has bite marks on it. So, and now I'm going to round this seat a little bit because I don't really like that. So I'm actually looking at um, an image on Pinterest and the outside is very dark, hence the skin of the avocado. So I'm going to use the side of my pencil and I'm just going to lightly start shading in. I'm not going to use the tip of the pencil because that's more for specific details. And the shading looks better. If, well, using the side of your pencil, it looks better than the shading. To use for the shading. <laughs> This is so much harder than it looks to actually record yourself. Okay, so now I'm going back in with the tip of my pencil and I'm refining that the skin by doing organic parallel lines. There we go, okay. And now again, I'm going to use the side of my pencil, but this time I'm using longer brush, not brush, pencil strokes. This is like kind of nerve wracking <laughs> being recorded. So what's new with you guys? How are your parents doing? How's your family? How about your doggies or kitties? Did you get to sleep in today? Did you eat something healthy for breakfast? Yeah, good. All right, I'm glad you ate your Wheaties. All right, so now I'm just going all the way around, coloring this in. This is so exhilarating isn't it okay so now i'm going back into the actual the seat so i'm gonna say this part over here is where the shadow is so the light is coming from here get your little arrow so all the shading is going to be on this side you can also do the same on the outside of your avocado 
Again, you can use any materials that you want. Color pencil, marker, paint, watercolor, anything that you want. And now I'm going to use some cross hatching. If you don't know what cross hatching is, it's literally hashtag. Hashtag into my seed, but I'm going to curve it a little bit so it shows the roundness of the seed. And the more cross hatching on the left, the better, because that's gonna show the shadow part of it. And then on the right side of the, the seed, I'm gonna go lighter with my cross hatching. And hopefully, I know I'm taking like a selfie video of this, so hopefully my left's not match up with yours. If not, then I just know I'm not dyslexic, even though I kinda am. <laughs> Give me a break. Now I'm going to do a little bit of cross hatching as well off to the side of the actual flesh of the avocado. Oh, and then up here at the very top, sorry, I hope you can see. Here's what I've been drawing so far. Up top, right here, is almost like a little indent where the, I don't know what it's really called, a little indent of where it attaches to the plant itself. So I always make this part a little bit darker around to show a bit of depth. Maybe I should just do that so you can see them. Hmm. So yeah, not the greatest, but hey, I'm trying, I'm learning. Pretty cool, I think. Yep. And there you have it. I'm going to also, oh, I'm going to erase some of the pencil stuff here. I'm also gonna do some smaller stuff. I'm going to experiment with the markers I have. I have some paints. Of course, I naturally have golden because no ad, <laughs> just because they are the best paints ever. Um, and I'll do a little time-lapse video of different ways to draw an avocado. Can't wait to see what you guys are creating. Some of you guys are actually overachievers. Way to go. That means you're probably just a little bored at home. Some of you guys have already sent me in your photos of your artwork. And it, let me just tell you, like, we all know the world is crazy right now. And just seeing little bits of your creativity is just making my life so much better. So thank you for that peace of calm. And... Can't wait to see what you guys create. I really am looking forward to it. Hope to see you guys soon. All right, toodaloo. Stay tuned. Bye, guys.